Log number 1306, date May 13th, 2021. I think this might be where we stop using these recordings for Miss Marine's slightly ordeal. By this point, we keep getting the same thing. Another fact about the year you see had to traverse. More thoughts of how she did not like specific areas of each kettle. Just give us something new! To make matters worse, she seems so hostile when talking about these few stages. I mean, really, calm down! Uh, I hope tomorrow we'll have something new. I don't think I ever showed off some of the structuring in the Octo Valley. It is kind of cool looking. Gives it like a nice, misty look. What's up, my speeds and women's as well as all my females out there? My name's Nathan Y6, and welcome back to Splatoon! In the last episode, we've met up with Aitens 1 and in a. Uh, 1 and 2. And got even further within the, within the world. Uh, I cannot speak today! Within World 4 of this game, I almost walked out there. In this episode, we are going to get even further, even challenging the next Octo Weapon. In Tumbling's Platforms, the Tentacles of Fate. And no wonder they'd be called the Tentacles of Fate. Look at the size of this freaking thing! <laughs> it's huge! I'm pretty sure some people can make appointments in these dang things. Anyways, um... Look at that platform go! We got more of the robotic octopi, or robot octopi, I don't know. Some of the sources have it wrong. Like, Jerry County says it's the robotic octopi, other sources says it's just robot octopi. I don't know, it's weird. We got above! <laughs> I got below! Now there's something interesting I want to talk about. Um, even though we see it as uh, English, uh, the uh, squids, <laughs> the, uh, the Inklings and Octolinks in these games actually speak their own unique language, believe it or not. Like, I, I don't even know what the official name is. Like, I think it's like... Don't lose your balance now. Some people call it, like, Inknees. Some people call it English. I don't know. I think Chug Howie even called, like, one form of it Inktonesian or something. Which is actually kind of funny. I feel like I'm missing something. I could be wrong, though. Like, I don't know the location of the, uh... Of the, uh... Mm-hmm. Something scroll, yeah. There's always that one or two that you miss within each episode, isn't it? Final checkpoint already. I think I am missing something. Could be a hit though. Nope, you're not afraid of my. Yeah, we are. I think this is where the second scroll is. Yep. It's actually pretty hidden. Whoa. <laughs> I think Chia kind of showed off the roller amiibo missing in this stage. Yeah, I remember because he uh, said something like, You only fire one shot? Peanuts! Uh, have I ever told you guys about that? Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. If I ever told you guys about how I wanted to become a YouTuber in the first place, it's all thanks to Mr. Chucker A. Conroy. He inspired me to become a uh, YouTuber, and even though I had a bit of a rocky start, I'm glad to be where I am now because of you guys. Like, I just want to make at least one of you happy with these videos. Deeple voice video or not. I missed that thing in dialogue. Oh well, onward! As a matter of fact, Chuck Conroy actually got me into like a fair amount of games back then, like, he got me into uh, Pikmin, he got me into Pokemon, he got me into this game, believe it or not. Um, what else? He also got me into Zelda, he even introduced me to Akami. Anyways, 
It's the big f fluffy one providing shelter for the little fishy one. Or is it the little fishy one manipulating the big fluffy one? We may never know. Wow, Graham said you were good, but I didn't expect this. But yeah, Chiri Kami got me into like a fair amount of stuff. He got me into wanting to do YouTube. He got me into a fair amount of games. To me, he's probably one of the greatest Let's Players out there. Also, we're doing another Oct Octolinga stage. And we're doing it on Bluefin Depot. What's more? The Octolings with seaweed on the head are super tough. Yeah, we always figure that out, Asian 2. One thing I feel like is kind of strange is that um, the uh, hair color on some of these characters don't even match up to the ink. Like, see how the how the uh, hair is black and yet the... something. It... <sighs> I'm surprised I actually uh, won that fight. But the yeah, the hair color does not match up with the uh, with the uh, ink color at all, which is weird. Bomb Russ! yeah! Remember when I said I'm not that great at this game? <laughs> okay, so sunken scroll, sunken scroll. Where would a sunken scroll be if I was it? Ow, there goes my armor. Let's see, it's probably around here somewhere. I could be wrong. Um, here's an interesting thing about Bluefin Depot. It's one of the few stages that has, like, some sort of intricate design with its, uh, middle. Like, see how there's, like, this big old gap here? You can stun but still shoot here, especially depending on the, the range of your weapon and the, and the uh, sub you're using. But otherwise, yeah. Also, this map is very easy to get uh, flanked on because of the two routes. Arg! I panicked. <laughs> Sometimes I panic and use my uh, special without even meaning to. Why are there so many of you? There is a uh, something school, something school. Where would I be if there was a something school? Oh, I see. In this first middle level, I'm pretty sure these, uh... What am I saying? Those levels... Eh. This version of the uh, stages do not... Uh, ah, I keep screwing up. The standard multiplayer version of these stages do not have those platforms down there. They are exclusive to, uh, single player. Anyways. Let's head onward. Squid Squad's new album, Fresh Kids, take the trademark Squid Core sound with a, to a whole new level. Critics called an auto buffet of squidocentric psychology. What is sky, sky, psychedelicacy? Is that what it is? I don't know. The perfect thing for any turf war on sale now. There are very there are different variations of uh, squid bands like like uh, Squid Squads and uh, Squid Sisters and whatnot. Oh yeah, the sapphires just keep rolling on in. We got another UFO state. Underpass infiltration. Oh, snippy snaps! It's Narco Striker! Yeah, yeah, I know. Whoa, mama! Oh, this stage, um... For those of you who don't know, this stage is called Urchin Underpass. 
I think it was one of the starting stages in this game. And it's one of the most updated stages! Like seriously, when uh, new updates rolled out, this map uh, up changed a lot. <laughs> because they wanted it to be accessible to the different types of weapons like slosses, uh, blasters, all sorts of different uh, weapons. Ah! Insuka, let him have it. Eh, why not? Wrong one. Oh! I just noticed, on these darker stations, do we we have a little light source. That's actually kind of cool. I don't think I knew that. It's the little details, man. I feel like it. Yes, because I'm behind that wall. Um, I wonder where the uh, fucking scroll for this place is. Is this stage this baby? Oh, right. I keep forgetting there's a uh, map on the bottom screen. I mean, 82 is pretty darn good in presence. Yeah, I, I feel like it's pretty obvious as to what the agents uh, 1 and 2 are by this point, but I'll keep it a secret for you to, for those of you who haven't played this game. I think the second scroll is over here. Oh, by you. Ah, here you are. Oh, I thought I was on the, uh, no. We got another special here. Now to take care of the enemies and get as much, uh, eggs as we can! Oh, wait, there's a, uh, ink rail here. Okay, I don't know how I survived that. Now, I mentioned earlier that there's a uh, map on the uh, other screen. That's one of the unique things about this uh, game. Some Wii U games will uh, take advantage of the fact that the game patterns don't separate screen. And each area actually has its own different thing, like, uh, in Terraforce it'll show you the entire map of the, uh, stage that you're on, and places like this, it's just like a little map of where you're going on each stage. Hey, there's even one in Booyah Base. And you can actually interact with some things, like you can squid jump to different people, you can quickly go to different shops, all that stuff. What is this? It looks like the... I can't... Oh, man. Have you guys ever had those points where you talk for so long that it kind of just feels weird? Like your allergies acting up? I suppose to prepare some water for this, but I don't. I Actually, I do have some water. Hang on. What is this? It looks like the... Eh. It looks just like the proprietor of the shoe shop. Could there have been an ancient creature that consumed prawns as food? A terrifying thought indeed. I actually don't eat prawns, but I do eat certain types of seafood. Yes! You saved all the, uh, you saved all the, uh, Zephyrs. Now, where's that boss kill? Well, gee, maybe it's that giant platform in the middle of the area, 8 and 1. Or uh, 2. Sorry I mixed you up. Oh, yes, this is my favorite one of the bosses. The Inkling is on the menu. The ravenous Octomar. Look at this arena, man. Like, seriously, this looks like it could be like a fishing spot if it wasn't for all that, uh, boiling ink? Could be po a poisonous spot, I don't know. 
the Octoma, one of my favorite bosses in Splatoon. What it does, it tries to surround you with its teeth to munch you down. And on the side we saw that it does not like bombs. That's how it opens up its weak point, the tentacle. This boss is so unique that it even technically reappears in Splatoon 2. It's it's a a, a large fish caught the ma in Salmon Run. It's kind of interesting. Its teeth get harder and harder to shatter with each uh, phase. But if we're determined enough, we can take it out. Sorry, I was trying to recharge my ink. Now the last one is going to take a bit because the uh, last set of teeth. They're made out of gold! Has anyone ever had those silver feelings? What are the metal ones? I remember having a couple. I think they always said that the Tooth Fairy uh, gave out more money for those. Which is kind of interesting. Anyways, even though this is my favorite boss, it's still relatively short. It also looks like a little sap fist for some reason. I think it's just this sign, I don't know. <laughs> Onward! Actually, maybe it doesn't look like it's that first, I don't know. Maybe it's just, I, I don't know. Holy mackerel pancakes, H3! You're really good! I've seen better. You keep this, eh? You, you, if you keep this sub, we'll find the great Zephyrus in no time. When did I suddenly turn to Southern? I don't know. I'm sorry if that offended anyone. Wait a second, I'm Southern. I'm, def I'm an offense to myself. Screechy Scratch. Who is this? <laughs> Incopolis. Ah, it's the final boss. Give us back the great Zephyrus, you jerk. And Captain Cuttlefish, we want him back too. Incopolis is mine, yo! Dude, seriously, get your own radio channel. 83, you gotta do something about this guy, and quick! Black... Next time on Splatoon, we'll head off to the final area and go through even more areas. After all, we have six more second scrolls to find. Stay fresh and stay safe.